stance. So I have been asking you and asking you for your requests, and my gosh, you have seriously delivered. That I'm not gonna make videos in the summer anymore. I'm just gonna keep making them and keep sending them to you whenever I get time. I have got a long list of requests to fulfill, and I don't have a whole lot of time on my hands. As you guys know, I teach a lot of color guards, plus I am actually a full-time science teacher, and I just bought a new house, plus there's like, you know, the whole Spintronics company I run, and great things are happening for them too. Some other new features that are coming to the channel is that we're gonna start doing some more vlog style stuff so you guys can see what we're actually up to in the Winter Guard world and how we're running our organization and everything like that. I've had more of my staff interested in being involved in the video making process so you're gonna get to meet some more of them and you'll probably get to meet some more of our members this year too. So I'm gonna start off today by teaching you how to do a palm roll on a flag. So without further ado, here is today's lesson. In order to do this palm roll, you're going to place the tab of your flag in your hand, whether you're doing it on the right hand or the left hand. And the direction that I like to do this is I always like to be pushing away from myself. So if I've got it in my right hand, my left hand is gonna push away. My fingers are gonna open up and they're gonna open up so far that they're actually curving back some to get out of the way of the flag coming through. I've seen a lot of people attempt to do these in their first attempt or so. They're like trying to keep their hand closed or they're trying to like play the flag through their fingers and that just doesn't work. It doesn't make for a smooth roll whenever you're rolling it on your palm. I'm gonna hold it just above my head. My hand is flat as I can possibly make it. I'm gonna push with my left hand. So you might notice that before I actually get started, my right hand is around the pole because it gives it that stability. As I'm doing that push, I don't wanna just shove the pole right off of my hand. So I kinda of wrap it with my fingers and with my thumb in order to hold it. And then as the flag picks up momentum from my left hand and push, and it gets about a quarter turn, that's when my hand actually opens up and becomes that flat palm so the flag can continue to go around. also notice that where I want the flag to go, my hand is going to turn a little bit and actually manipulate it in the air. So you can spin over here off to the side, directly above your head. You can even do these on a 45 plate. Although those are really hard to clean. that little trick and I hope you enjoy the content we have coming up soon don't forget we're doing the booster campaign right now we're selling how to color guard t-shirts they're black they say how to toss a rifle on them and then there's three little pictures of a person puffing their rifle tossing their rifle and then catching it perfectly every single time Shirts are only $20 and Spintronics gets more than 50% of the profit and we put it toward our programs that are helping kids that are in rural, low income and underprivileged areas to do color guard. You really can't lose. Order one soon because we only have until September 30th to sell 100 shirts. And if you want one, you've got to get one now because after this order, we're not selling them anymore and they're super cool. See you guys next time.